Welcome to my channel, Hallmark's Gossip 24, where you can get news about. For more information, kindly subscribe and follow, and I am your buddy. Now let's get started. Recently, WCTH co-creator Brian Bird seemingly threw Erin Cranko under the Hope Valley bus by declaring the series fine without her. However, his words don't seem to reflect what the Hallmark EVP of programming recently shared with the TCA 2024 Winter Panels. Are they at opposite ends on how valuable Erin Krakow is to the long-running franchise? Brian Bird says that WCTH would be fine without Erin Krakow. Brian Bird is the co-creator of WCTH. Bird is always happy to give an interview about the series as he is proud of what this show about the Hope Valley residents brings to television. In a recent interview with Soaps.com, Bird raised a few eyebrows when he spoke about the longevity of the Hallmark series should Aaron Krakow leave. He doesn't seem to think it would matter a bit. Brian Bird was asked if he thought the show could continue without its heroine, Elizabeth Thornton, Aaron Krakow. His response indicated that this show was not about actors, but about a feeling of community. After saying, I do, to the question, he tempered the remainder of his response carefully. Not that I would ever want to have to do that, or that any of us would ever want to have to do that. We do think Erin is the absolute source of everything on, when calls the heart, and we love her. We hope we don't wear her hour and tire her of this whole thing. She could be there forever as far as I'm concerned. But he did share that community, not Erin Krakow, is why people tune in. He cited Daniel Lissing's departure as a good example of this. They adjusted the show by adding Chris McNally and Kevin McGarry. However, it doesn't really sound like Hallmark would agree with him about Aaron Krakow leaving. Hallmark EVP of Programming revealed how valuable Aaron Krakow is to WCTA. At the beginning of February, Hallmark participated in the TCA, Television Critics Association, 2024 Winter Panels. Lisa Hamilton Daly, the EVP of Programming for Hallmark Media, was asked about a WCTH spinoff, but she could not see who they could remove from the OG series to spin off into a new series. What this indicates is that Hallmark considers Erin Krakow valuable to the series. Moreover, they would not risk taking her from the OG to spin off to a new series. Erin Krakow has already filmed two Hallmark movies in 2024. While Brian Bird seems to think that Aaron Krakow is not necessary for WCTA to continue, Hallmark certainly values Aaron's efforts. She has already filmed two new movies for 2024. She just wrapped up Santa Tell Me with her former WCTA co-star Daniel Lissing. Earlier in the year, she filmed Blind Date Book Club with Robert Buckley. This will premiere on Saturday, April 6, at 8 p.m. Eastern on the Hallmark Channel. This is on the eve of the Win Calls, the Heart Season 11 premiere. Hearties, do you think that Hallmark values Aaron Krakow more than the creator of the series? What are your thoughts? When Calls the Heart, WCTH, a beloved Hallmark Channel series, has captivated audiences with its heartwarming tales set in the quaint Canadian town of Hope Valley. At the heart of this show lies its talented cast, with Aaron Krakow's portrayal of Elizabeth Thatcher Thornton standing out as a cornerstone of its success. However, recent discussions have surfaced regarding Krakow's value to the show, sparking debate between the show's creator and Hallmark's executive leadership. This creative divergence sheds light on the intricate dynamics between artistic vision and commercial interests within the entertainment industry. Aaron Krakow, a pillar of When Calls the Heart. Aaron Krakow's portrayal of Elizabeth Thatcher Thornton has been instrumental in shaping the identity of When Calls the Heart. Her nuanced performance has endeared her character to millions of viewers worldwide, earning her a dedicated fan base. Krakow's ability to embody the strength, resilience, and vulnerability of Elizabeth has contributed significantly to the show's emotional depth and narrative richness. Her chemistry with Cope stars and her commitment to authenticity have elevated the storytelling experience, drawing viewers into the world of Hope Valley with each episode. The creator's perspective. The creative force behind When Calls the Heart, whether it be the show's original author, Jeanette Oak, or the series producers, holds Erin Krakow in high regard for her contributions to the show's success. 
From the inception of the series, Krako's casting was a deliberate choice, driven by her talent, charisma, and ability to connect with audiences. The creator recognizes Krako as an indispensable asset, acknowledging her pivotal role in bringing the character of Elizabeth to life and sustaining the show's popularity over multiple seasons. To the creator, Krako embodies the essence of when calls the heart, and her value transcends mere commercial metrics. Hallmark's EVP perspective. Conversely, the perspective of Hallmark's executive vice president, EVP, may prioritize commercial considerations over artistic merit. While acknowledging Erin Krako's popularity among viewers, the EVP may question her financial value in terms of ratings, advertising revenue, and demographic appeal. In an industry driven by market trends and profitability, the EVP's evaluation of Krako's contribution to When Calls the Heart may be influenced by bottom-line concerns rather than artistic integrity. This perspective reflects the tension between creative vision and corporate interests within the television industry. Diverging Narratives the discrepancy between the creator's perspective and Hallmark's EVP reflects a broader tension within the entertainment industry. On one hand, creators and artists champion the importance of creative expression, authenticity, and storytelling prowess. On the other hand, executives and stakeholders often prioritize commercial viability, marketability, and profitability. This dichotomy highlights the ongoing struggle between art and commerce, as well as the delicate balance required to navigate the intersection of creativity and business in the entertainment landscape. Navigating Creative Differences Despite the apparent discord between the creator and Hallmark's EVP regarding Aaron Krakow's value, there exists an opportunity for constructive dialogue and collaboration. By acknowledging the unique perspectives and priorities of each party, a middle ground can be reached that honors both artistic integrity and commercial imperatives. Creative compromises such as innovative storytelling approaches, marketing strategies, and audience engagement initiatives can leverage Krako's talent while satisfying commercial objectives. Through open communication and mutual respect, the diverging narratives surrounding Krako's value can be reconciled to the benefit of all stakeholders involved. The Fan Perspective Amidst the discussions surrounding Aaron Krakow's value in When Calls the Heart, the perspective of the show's dedicated fan base is paramount. For millions of viewers, Krako's portrayal of Elizabeth is synonymous with the essence of the series, embodying its themes of love, community, and resilience. Fans passionately advocate for Krako's continued presence on the show, recognizing her as a linchpin of its success and a source of inspiration in their own lives. Their unwavering support underscores the profound impact of Krako's performance and the integral role she plays in the hearts of viewers worldwide. Conclusion the divergence of perspectives between the creator of When Calls the Heart and Hallmark's EVP regarding Aaron Krakow's value encapsulates the complex dynamics at play within the entertainment industry. While the creator champions Krakow's artistic merit and narrative significance, the EVP may assess her value through a lens of commercial viability and profitability. However, amidst these differing narratives lies an opportunity for dialogue, collaboration, and compromise. By recognizing the contributions of all stakeholders, honoring artistic integrity, and embracing commercial imperatives, a harmonious balance can be achieved that ensures the continued success of When Calls the Heart while preserving its creative essence. Ultimately, Aaron Krakow's value transcends metrics and financial considerations, resonating deeply with fans and enriching the cultural landscape of television storytelling.